soir. Je suis Bob Lennon. Ah, ah, et bienvenue, et bienvenue dans l'épisode 12 du Loup parmi nous. Chut, Lotari, tu arrêtes de t'exciter tout de suite, sinon je te balance dans les poubelles. Voilà, Lotari est morte et comme ça on peut bien commencer l'épisode dans le respect le plus total d'un Big B qui est là, qui est beau, qui est sublime et on se plonge tout de suite dans la suite de l'aventure. Alors comme il était tard hier quand j'ai tourné l'épisode, je me souviens absolument plus d'où on en était, c'est pas grave, on va y aller au pif. De toute façon, il y avait eu du drama, voilà, bah bah, bah. <rire> Et bon, on s'était arrêté là, parfait. Bon Cette intro est magnifique. Oh Je me souviens maintenant, on avait perdu face à un, une fable qui s'appelait Bloody Mary. Euh, et vous m'avez expliqué d'où elle venait, donc de le, du conte de l'ancienne reine euh, d'Angleterre qui était complètement euh, sanguinolente et qui enfermait des vierges et qui prenait des bains de sang de vierges et tout le bordel. Hi, sheriff. Et de ce côté-là, voilà, nous avons Nerissa qui est venue nous voir directement dans le bureau afin de nous donner plus de, de détails sur l'affaire ou finalement euh, faire ce qu'on l'a payé pour faire, c'est-à-dire on a payé 150 dollars si je me souviens, elle ne l'a jamais réellement fait. Donc du coup, dans les deux cas, c'est à la fois pour le travail et pour le plaisir. <rire> C'est ça qui est bon. Et de notre côté, oui, et nous avons tué, euh, vous, avez, euh, vous avez souligné, Tweedledum, donc c'était Tweedlefuck et pas euh, Tweedledick, comme je disais, mais dans tous les cas, on a tué un Tweedle, il avait euh, un loup dans la gorge. Ah ah, ah, ah voilà. <rire> un loup dans la gorge, c'est gratuit. Allons-y. Bonjour. Hi, Nerissa. Alors, ma petite dame, on vous a volé votre sac à main Have a seat. Pour un ticket de parking I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around if I came by. Don't be fooled by this. I didn't get the worst of it. <coughs> Puffin puffs. Not many people smoke those. Wow, les goûts de luxe. Allez, tiens. Alors, je vous écoute. Comment va le prince Eric? Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. Might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. C'est parfait. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Bodan et Lily, évidemment. C'est à propos de Face et Lily. 
Vous pouvez me faire confiance, mais c'est pas Is une question. Ça fait du sens, ça fait du sens. Tu parles de Podan et de Lily. Tu parles qu'elles sont mortes parce qu'elles en savaient trop, sans doute. De ton côté, euh, le fait de te dire que tu peux me faire confiance, elle te fait confiance, euh, débile. C'est précisément pour ça qu'elle est venue te voir. C'est uniquement pour ça qu'elle est venue te voir, d'ailleurs, euh, à ce sujet. Et elle, c'est pas parce qu'elle te fait pas confiance, c'est parce qu'elle est bloquée par un sortilège qui l'empêche de parler. D'ailleurs, j'ai ma petite idée sur le pourquoi du comment, euh, mais je, 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 je préfère le garder pour moi pour l'instant. Et où est-ce que cela nous mène Ben, bah, connard, euh... <rire> la fille, elle vient t'aider et tu l'envoies chier. Tout ceci est délicieux, en tout cas, chers amis. Euh... Hmm. En tout cas, je regarde pas mal le bureau de Big B et il y a un endroit où c'est marqué les, les, plus, les mecs les plus recherchés par le FBI. Je suis sûr que ça doit être des développeurs, ça ne veut rien dire. Mais enfin, c'est à propos de Face et de Lily. Allons-y. Sure can... Ouais, ouais, je sais, en fait. Voilà. Exactement. Bon. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I. I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. J'ai compris. Are you? J'ai compris, j'ai compris. Look compris. around you. Are you telling me my friends are involved? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but you can't. But but these lips are sealed. But your lips are sealed. Oh, je viens de comprendre son message. Euh, J'avais des amis, mais il m'en reste plus beaucoup. Euh, C'est elle. Elle, elle a peur. Elle a peur pour son cul. Elle pense qu'elle est la prochaine prostitute à crever comme une chienne. Ah, d'accord, ça fait du sens. Elle demande de la protection, mais elle peut pas. Parce que son sortilège l'empêche de parler de son job de tepu. D'accord, ça fait du sens. Mais Bigby a pas pigé ça. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. Don't fait pas, Ariel. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Ça y est. Do you like it? Ça y est, il a commencé à cliquer dans son mm. cerveau. Do you? Mm. Mm. It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? C'est ça, c'est clairement ça. Hmm. Oh La compréhension dans le cerveau d'un Lennon <rire> Du coup, je pourrais retirer le ruban, mais... Euh... euh, euh, euh Disons juste que je vais juste lui en parler un petit peu. Can't we just take the ribbon off? No, his lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. Ok, c'est bien ce que je pensais. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. Ok. Ok. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. If anyone finds out I came here. Oh. That's probably snow. Hmm. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? Uh. I could be in a lot of... trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Les autres n'ont pas besoin de savoir de toute façon. Blanche! Comment va? Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. Hmm. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Oh. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. 
Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. Oh. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. No, t'inquiète. One way to send a message. C'est pas toi, c'est pas toi. On a assez clair. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Yep. She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Bien, il a fait la connexion. Merci, Bigby. Okay, then. Good work. Par contre, je me demande quand même comment ça marche. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? Sûr qu'on n'a pas besoin d'une nouvelle princesse morte sur les bras. I have other matters to attend to. <rire> T'as la tête ailleurs. <rire> Pardon. Parfait. Bon. Bon, 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 bon. Et bien, tout se passe mieux que je l'aurais pensé. Alors, l'appartement de la belle et la bête. En espérant que depuis, ils aient un tout petit peu plus discuté de leurs détails conjugaux. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, Beast. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. J'ai une question. Elle pourrait pas faire comme Cendrillon et euh, monter sa propre boutique? Enfin, je sais qu'il manque de thunes et que c'est le bordel et que, ah là là, les fables c'est compliqué, machin, c'est tout. Mais je comprends bien que Belle peut pas faire de la présentation météo parce que, apparemment, de ce qu'on m'a dit, les fables n'ont pas le droit de se montrer au grand jour. C'est à soi, ça que ça sert le glamour. Tu peux pas dire aux normaux que t'es une fable. Tu peux pas leur dire que t'es un espèce d'être immortel né de l'inconscient collectif. Non. Cependant, euh, si Cendrillon vend des chaussures, Belle, elle pourrait tenir une bibliothèque? Une bibliothèque en 2015 à New York, Bob Ok, ok, bon d'accord, ils sont dans la pauvreté. Hein. Allô Oh, salut Musclor What do you want Well, uh, you're just going around knocking on doors Hey You called, right Or, uh, was it beauty Why would I call you Listen... I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. <laughs> Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? there beast who's at the door are you gonna let me in or what it's your pal big b <laughs> hi big b please excuse us for just a minute see you too. can i talk to you in private yes let's hmm I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Holy shit! Qu'est-ce que c'est que cet appartement de ouf? Un chandelier, une armoire, et oh! I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. Talk about living in the past. Oh, c'est quand même stylé comme photo de mariage. Keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort hmm. this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. 
D'accord, ils sont en train de se disputer. Alors, il n'y a pas les sous-titres. Donc, pour ceux qui ne parlent pas anglais, hein, il y en a. Euh, c'est pas de votre faute, hein, on vous aime. Ils sont en train de se disputer, euh, sinon, du, du pourquoi, du comment. Euh, elle m'a. Pourquoi tu l'as appelé ici Bah, parce qu'on avait besoin de lui. Euh, on était à la merde. Ouais, mais euh, avec tous les secrets qu'il garde, notamment le secret qu'il qu t'a aidé à garder, que tu travaillais dans l'hôtel le, dans le, dans à te pu. Et fait, oui, mais c'était juste un petit secret de rien du tout. Tu fais chier. On a quand même besoin de son aide. C'est pour ça que je l'ai appelé. Et pourquoi tu l'as appelé lui Parce qu'on a plus de fric et qu'on est dans la mouise FDP voilà. Et après, ils vont, ils vont ouvrir la porte et faire un cookie. Voilà. <rire> Ça marche à l'électricité J'aurais mis des bougies, moi, dedans. Je peux regarder l'urne avant que ça finisse Oula, oula, Big V. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get it, and all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man, and I don't know if it's worth it, if you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? Mm -hmm. We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Oh. Hacka. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? No, no. Hey, Skiing we're not done here. <laughs> I should... And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. <laughs> beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Cause next time, I'm making a house call. Ok, euh, ne pas décrocher le téléphone, c'est juste leur dire que je suis au courant et donc que c'est de leur faute. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Oh. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. Aha! The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil? C'est le diable de Tasmanie? C'est Taz? Parce que si c'est Taz, et que tu vas dans le, dans le monde piété, et qu'il ouvre, ça fait... Et bonjour, je voudrais vendre ce verre. Ce petit verre, là, il appartient à ma famille. Mouignet, mouignet, mouignet. 
Voilà, et puis que ça part en sucette en mode... Ce serait hilarant. Mais j'ai peu de, 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 de croyances que ce serait le cas, malheureusement. Oh, yeah. That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. Hmm. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. What? If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise That the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Et donc T'as une autre solution You know that butcher shop, the cut above? Wait, what It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. Oh... And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Uh, We're quoi dans les boîtes. people, Bigby. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. Euh, euh, ils parlent de filet pour les cheveux. En clair, euh, ils sont pas hygiéniques, donc euh, ils s'en foutent de la viande, donc en fait c'est une boucherie mais qui compte pas. J'imagine. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. Oh, she said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know, I, I try to avoid her. Mm. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. I'm scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Oh. Big B. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Vous êtes des entités immortelles de l'inconscient collectif. Comment vous faites pour pas avoir de fric Putain, je vous annonce que si du jour au lendemain je suis un vampire, malgré le fait que je peux me déplacer que la nuit, et ben je vous jure qu'en 10 ans, tu le crées ton empire. En 100 ans, en 1000 ans s'il faut. Mais holy fucking shit ah, bon, c'est pas grave, c'est pas grave, c'est pas grave, c'est pas de leur faute. Après tout, ils s'aiment, ils sont heureux, ils sont gentils, on va pas leur taper dessus, il y en a un qui, trans... qui... qui... qui déplaçait des caisses. D'ailleurs, c'est la putain de bête Pourquoi ils déplacent pas des parpaings, le machin Ah, parce que c'est un travail qui est pas royal et tout ça, et belle. Pourquoi elle vend pas des produits de beauté, quelque chose, genre ça Une librairie, bordel Ah, c'est pas très grave, c'est pas grave, bon. En tous les cas... Soit je vais au monde piété, euh, là où la piste me comme indiqué est belle avec le Jersey Devil, donc Taz de Tasmanie probablement. Soit je vais euh, chez Jerry la saucisse, Régis la saucisse. You know that butcher shop, the cut above. The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. Mm. Ça fait du sens. You know that butcher shop. Non mais non mais ta gueule. The cut above. Ça fait du sens. Cependant, attends, ça fait du sens. Cependant. Euh... 
S'il y a une opération clandestine à la boucherie, ils n'auront pas le temps de tout déplacer le temps que j'y aille. Par contre, le Lucky Pawn, s'il y a le mec qui le tient là, le, le Jersey Devil, ça m'intéresse parce que ça se trouve. C'est peut-être le mec qui était dans la voiture et qui m'a agressé avec euh, Bloody Mary, enfin qui, qui faisait le symbole de, 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 dans la limousine. À moins que ce soit directement le Crooked Man. Dans tous les cas, c'est un homme de main, ça m'intéresse. Et puis, euh, voilà quoi. Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. Si je peux frapper quelqu'un dans la bouche, moi ça m'intéresse. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Ah, tant pis, c'est pas grave. J'en reste sur mon choix, on y va. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Il n'y a pas de différence entre la chose à faire et la bonne chose. Enfin, ça ne me plaît pas. Ça ne me plaît pas quand même. Mais si je peux aider des gens en frappant d'autres gens dans la bouche, then so be it. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh. Really? Salut, What? Jack. Big B's here. Oh. This is a surprise. Sheriff, why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyway, so I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly used mule skin coat? Euh, parce qu'il est magique et qu'il est complètement pété. Mais euh, j'avoue que Jack est un bon commercial, là, pour le coup. Because it's magic mule skin, that's why. And it's not even mule skin, it's donkey skin. Hey. Wait a minute, that's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Mm. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> This is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much, so forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? <laughs> I mean, what kind of a game are you running it? He parle en You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit. Shut up. I know who you're talking about. Um. Ogfrey? The crooked man, right? This is his place. Those are his loans. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off! <laughs> leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Look, I'll... I'll give you some money, all right? gotta be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Cheap your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. 
If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. really grows on you. Jack! Look, I told you I work here, and I do, okay? So don't look so surprised. Mm, tu un point. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Ah ouais? Un truc aussi hachement bien? Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? No, je suis aussi venu pour te frapper dans la bouche. Because I don't know anything about it. I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Hmm. Alors, euh... Because I'm not a mind reader. And unless it's bar trivia, I don't think I can help much anyway. Tell me about these loans. How do they work? Who collects? Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. I should know. But the crooked man? Bad stuff. You mean he kills him? Or worse. Simple Simon tried to open up a bakery, took out a loan to help with the expense, but when he started getting laid on the payments, the crooked man put him into one of the pies and served it to a litter of alley cats. At least, that's what I heard. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so uh, can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So, uh, I'd really rather you not physically be here if he comes back. You know? He's not what I'd call a friendly fellow. <laughs> Moi non plus. I want to check stuff out here first. If this is a crooked man place, maybe something here will help me find him. Get your Shut up, Jack. Merci. Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. Jamais, Jack. I won't. Tu sais bien que jamais c'est un problème. Ton existence n'est absolument pas un problème. J'adore t'envoyer te faire foutre, Jack. Alors, du coup, voyons voir. Fouillons, fouillons l'endroit librement. Enclume. What's the anvil for? Yeah. Blacksmith didn't need it. I haven't seen him around for a while. Yeah. À quoi sert cette statue? Isn't this from Crane's apartment? Oh, maybe. I don't know. You didn't go back over there and swipe it. I swear. On Toad's life. <laughs> Espèce d'enfoiré. Il a refait un tour malgré tout ce que je lui avais mis dans la bouche. Rien que pour ça, ça m'arrêterait que je pète le nez, mais ça veut rien dire. Mais enfin, c'est pas très grave. <sighs> Just my luck. La vision dans le futur est indisponible à cause d'une fissure. Eh ben, pas de chance. Qu'est-ce que c'est que tous ces objets quand même sur les états de serre Ça, c'est une lyre Un néon Mais... C'est un poisson qui parle. Même qu'il chante. C'est rien, Big B. Faut pas paniquer, hein. je sais que ça t'excite de voir du saumon comme ça, mais euh, non, 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 c'est un poisson au mur qui chante et qu'elle a bibabaloula. Enfin, faut lui foutre la paix au poisson. Enfin bon. Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? Oh, ok then. C'est derrière la vitre, comment je pourrais y toucher, enfoiré. Surtout que des épines, enfin des, des, des épingles empoisonnées, effectivement, c'est un truc à dormir. C'est un. C'est un. C'est un objet à dormir debout. Ah, 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 ah. Cornes de brume, des dards, une urne, sauf qu'elle a l'air touchable, donc je vais éviter de le faire tout de suite. 
des anneaux, des bijoux, des bracelets. Rien de sensiblement illégal. Oh Jack thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh uh what? I I do I don't uh <laughs> Jack? Uh yeah? When was Mary here? Was who here? Bloody Mary. Because the axe was here, but it's gone, and she had it. So she was here. I don't know anything about that. I don't. Really? Oh. I mean, I don't work every day. Oh, so. Jack, 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 work, Jack, Jack, Jack. Labouche! <clears throat> what happened to the axe? Okay, okay. Fucking jeez, take it easy. It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No, I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Sometimes it's for her, sometimes it's for the crooked man. But I'm smart enough to not ask questions, all right? You know where she lives? Where she took it? I don't know where that crazy chick lives. And I don't want to know. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? Mm. And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... That's my fucking system. But you... You're the guy who makes sure I'm that... the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Buffet. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grin said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy too? Bigby? What is his ax even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? Alors comme ça on te l'a volé, la bûche. And you? I can't believe you'd even show your face in here. After what you did to our guy, Tweedledum? So tell me what you're here for, or get the fuck out. Pour te faire la même. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. Wait, we're not finished yet. You're dealing with me now, okay? And until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack. Did you know that as of this very morning, Big Beast joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers, and Big Beast handed him over just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know, the Crooked Man appreciated that. Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the Crooked Man. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Buffet. Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... Hey! You piece of shit. Oh. On va laisser frapper un peu d'abord. Rip your fucking lungs out! I'd like to see you try, you backwards fuckwit! Oh, big talk! You won't be talking when I'm done with you! Yes, yeah, I'll be laughing. Ha, ah, ah. ha! Hey! Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park just so I can prove to you that your axe is in here. And you think I'm gonna take another inch of abuse? Mon point, ta bouche. Are you out of your fucking mind? Uh, uh, <laughs> That's it? You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Ah! Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. Oh putain, alors là, this ain't gonna go. That's it. You're you... gonna die. Oh, yeah. Fuck him. Deuxième service. 
Uh, what the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Oh. Moi qui pensais l'avoir épinglé. <laughs> Et ben on va s'arrêter là chers amis <rire> On va s'arrêter sur le twist C'était donc ça le Jersey Devil On se posait des questions On ne savait pas ce que c'était Mais c'est pas grave Lors du prochain épisode vous pourrez le voir dès le début Beaucoup d'action avec beaucoup de frappage dans la bouche Parce que c'est ça qui est bon C'est parti, bisous à tous et à la prochaine Allez zou Miséricorde <rire>